ejecting from his F-100 Super Saber. He was thrown into the fuselage, which would shatter his arm in three different places, and he would also severely sprain his knee. Once hitting the ground, Major George Day would immediately be captured and be tortured for two days, hung upside down in a cave and brutally beaten. The sixth day of captivity, Day escaped on a bad knee and a shattered arm and had to traverse the Vietnam countryside barefoot, evading capture every step of the way. On the second day, a rocket or explosion launched Day into the air, shattering Day's eardrums and sinuses and hitting him with shrapnel in his legs. He stayed put for two days and continued on his journey. For the next two weeks, he evaded capture until one day he awoke to an NVA soldier, aiming his AK-47 at his face. Day would now spend the next five years as a POW in the Hanoi Hilton. To be continued.